Hello there. So I know that my last video was quite meh, just meh, because I had found out that I had coronavirus. Uh, and then the next day, when we were confirming the lateral flow test with a PCR test, we found out that Honey's also had coronavirus, closely followed up by two positive coronavirus tests for the boys. So we all had coronavirus, well, we still do have coronavirus. I officially get out of self-isolation tomorrow, but the boys are a few days behind, so they've been off school. Um, the school have been brilliant. They've loaned us a couple of Chromebooks, so the boys have had like virtual classes, which, oh my gosh, right? It's hilarious. Like, I just don't think that virtual meetings are the best format for five-year-olds because the teacher will be there like trying to you know talk about uh, fractions and you'll just hear kids talking about you know what sandwich they are having for lunch hello manchester city you're winning two one hey, that is amazing i was just telling everyone about your coronavirus oh, test oh, oh, i came to read olivia oh excellent well, well let's do it what shall we do it now? Are you going to finish your video? No, I'm yeah. going to read first because that's the priority. And then I'll come back to this. What are we going to read, Alex? Where well, is Wally? Well, that Where is have Wally? Where could he be? We just At the don't back. Know. We just don't. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm spinning. Oh, here I go. As you can see, the boys are still full of beans. As full of, full of beans as ever. They, they just never stop, which is great. Great. Hey. Oh, I'm getting a bit dizzy now, gorgeous. Hello. I mean, this will be an additional challenge to find him. Where's Wally? Spin. Try finding him whilst you're spinning around in the chair, getting increasingly dizzy and nauseous. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyway, right. Hey. Okay, right. So anyway, guys, I, I'm dizzy. She's very dizzy <sighs> and nauseous. And I've got a bit of a headache, but tell you what's new. Uh, that's coronavirus for you and spinning on chairs. Anyway, right, I'm going to go. I'll come back after we've read and found Wally. He needs to be found. Why does Wally need to be found? Why, Alex? Why does he need to be found? Is he a criminal? Is he up to no good? Like, why do we need to find Wally? <laughs> why? Who is Wally? I don't know. Anyway, right, we're going to go now. We're going to go read, I think. Alex, are we reading? Yeah. Yeah, come on, let's go, because I am starting to feel quite sick and dizzy. Come on, Mom. All right, coming, uh, coming. Hey, guys, do you know, Mum? She's got Corona. Isn't that so sad? Okay, okay, okay. A bug. Ow! Uh, what was the worst thing about coronavirus? I hate Dre. No, no, what? No, show, show this to Dre. Okay, so apologies. It's now the next day and I'm back again. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update to let you know kind of how the whole coronavirus situation went. I know that a lot of you guys have already had it. I definitely did feel like I had kind of got away without getting it because I'd had my first dose of the vaccine and I was due to get my second dose on the 25th of May. So I kind of just thought, oh yes, I managed to come out unscathed of the whole pandemic, but no, coronavirus had different ideas. So I have to say that I feel like I was very lucky in a way because I know a lot of people have, have really had a hard time with coronavirus, but for me, it was more of just like kind of like a flu, achy muscles, sore throat, extremely congested. I would probably liken it the most to a bad case of sinusitis. Like I couldn't sleep at night because I was just so blocked up. You know, just like constant headaches, but it's been a week now and I definitely do feel like I am coming out the other end, although I still do feel very congested, lacking energy, just quite lethargic. But then when I think about it, that's kind of how I feel most of the time anyway. So the thing that I'm just most grateful for is that the boys were fine. I know that coronavirus doesn't really cause 
that many kind of negative symptoms in children and that definitely was the case with the boys. They were absolutely fine, they were full of beans which was actually a double-edged sword because there were a few days where both Honeys and myself were poorly. You know the kind of poorly when all you want to do is just sit on the sofa watching back-to-back -back Line of Duties. That's our new fave show. We joined it a bit late, but oh my gosh, did we make up for it? Because we literally watched all six series in the space of about five five days. But um, yeah, we you know when you just want to like veg out, just be poorly, feel sorry for yourself and just watch Netflix. Like that's all we wanted to do. But then because the boys were full of beans, which is great because they weren't poorly, but it's tough trying to parent when both parents are poorly you know what I mean but anyway you know a lot of people have it so much worse and I just feel so grateful that we appear to be over the worst of it now and you know life can kind of resume resume again because the boys go back to school on Tuesday um you know I can go back to the office at some point in some time in the future which I'm not looking forward to honestly but you know what I am really looking forward to is filming videos again even before coronavirus hit me I was feeling a little bit unmotivated with regards to filming and just feeling like I wasn't quite sure if the types of videos I were was filming like is that what people still want to see and I have kind of made a decision that because I have just like so much makeup like an excess of makeup and most of it I never use I've been thinking that I'm going to do like a whole declutter series just getting rid of a lot of makeup that I don't use it just seems ridiculous to keep hold of all of this makeup like for what but oh wait one sec yeah so i've decided that i'm going to be doing a whole declutter series just trying to get rid of some of this excessive makeup and i'm just going to be keeping a hold of the makeup products that i actually use because for far too long now i've just been buying all of this makeup and then the majority of it even though I may like it, I just don't use it. I just use the same products most of the time. And especially at the moment, back before COVID hit, I would just be going into the office. Like I would work from home sometimes, but most of the week I'd be in the office and I would always be doing my makeup in the morning. But at the moment, I'm doing my makeup once a week, aside from filming a video, which I really cherish wearing makeup when I'm filming videos or not wearing it but you know using makeup I absolutely love using makeup but if I'm just kind of working from home for the day it's definitely not something that I do I don't bother I just think feck it my kind of go-to look at the moment is a little bit of a liquid highlight maybe I'll do my eyebrows probably not you know what I mean so anyway I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update let you know that we're all doing well we're looking forward to life resuming to normal apart from me not going back into the office I'm not looking forward to that yeah the boys are looking forward to being back in school no more virtual lessons I, I think the school you know I like I praise them to the high hills to the highest mountain they've really tried to do everything they can do to keep things as normal for kids as possible but oh my gosh these are like virtual meetings for five-year-olds anyway guys i am going to go but thank you so much for watching this video thank you even more for all of your super kind and sweet messages and I, yeah, I just really wanted to let you know that we're all doing good and I'm just really excited to have some energy again but I never had that before coronavirus anyway so I don't know if that's going to come back or if I'm probably 
flogging a dead horse with that one but anyway guys i'm gonna go thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video bye